and he's got good background they were saying they're hoping in the end to have one in ten of us trained as mental health first aiders that would be the ambition i'm not sure we've even got one in health ten of us mental uh, physical first aid trained yet but that would be the organization's hope um, it might go to the link, but I think for timing, I better leave you to look at that yourselves. But you can go to Mental Health First Income Charity, tell you all about the courses. We've done our training, we going to London, going through the training. They train you as if you knew nothing at all and couldn't teach at all, because they're training you as if you're an ordinary member of the public and make sure you can teach it. And they're very strict about delivering in a certain way, not adjusting it, making sure you've got consistency. So whoever you did it in the country, you get the same course. Um, we do, um, now we have eight trainers, uh, we started in the summer of 14, we've rolled out as more and more of us were able to do it, we could do more. So we can now offer a half day mental health first aid awareness course, we also offer a full two day one, which obviously has a lot more scope for helping people with confidence. Um, we've actually done a whole range, we've even had one of our colleagues who went to the London campus and did it up there. Um, we've covered a range of staff and it really opened my eyes to the number of staff that need to be supported. Somebody from the library came and they were really saying how people you know, get to a certain time you only have panic attacks and people being really anxious or worried and actually it was really useful skills to think about what we could do. So um, it isn't just ourselves, it is the whole range of people who could be there. And we've now done all the reg uh, registration desks, reception desks done. Um, healthcare students, we started with the nurses just because the nursing trainers were the first ones to train, but it's lovely to actually work together. And though we're in the same health capacity, it's been the first time I've had a chance to work with Polly that isn't a nurse. So me and Sally are doing stuff together from different, you know, stances of health, and that's been brilliant. Um, so, you know, we started the nursing ones, we then went to the physio students because we then had physio trainers, and then we did an enormous rollout this February where we did it in a week to um, 700 students using all the trainers and every classroom, I can imagine that was a major issue trying to find a classroom and we did it in that week and we managed to deliver to all the first year students who were healthcare. So we were doing dietitians, as you can see, midwives, occupational therapists, social workers. We had a whole range of people who all do a social determinants health and it's an extra that they did within it. And when they've done it, they get, they did the half day, couldn't fit more than that in. They had a certificate, they would get a certificate to put in their portfolio that says like, they have this um, mental health first aid training. So, so far we've managed to do the two day course to 135 um, staff. Um, 30 of them are from hospitals because we have now to offer it as a, a same point as well for people to come in and play and do it. Um, but 105 from university staff. We've done the half day to 159. Students, we've now got to 665 nursing students, 95 the therapy students, and then the 462 of the whole range of people we covered within that week in February. So our ambition is to keep that going, you know, to keep it going as part of the first year. Not to in one week. No. <laughs> <laughs> we would like not to do it in one week again. Um, but we would like to actually continue to do it to those healthcare staff and continue to do it um, for other staff in the university who have yet to have that opportunity. Um, we have got a Moodle site we set up for people who've done course of staff that they can go to. Anytime we have good documentaries, resources, things we think are interest for them, we put it on that Moodle resource site so they can use it. Um, so we've got that backup for people. And, and the students, when they did it, had um, a list of references they could go to with useful websites, etc., so they could take it further. Um, that's the evaluation we do. We've been able to sort of look at some of this evaluation. And we're really pleased to see the comments that people make, you know, um, be more patient, don't be judgmental, be more empathetic, don't be asked, don't afraid to ask questions. I feel more comfortable in how to approach it. These are the responses from people who've done the course. And that's coming from the students and from the staff. So that's been really good. And it has opened up people to really be happy to talk about the fact that it's normal. One in four of us will have a mental health well-being issue at some point in our lives. Today it might be tomorrow it might be somebody else, but we need to support each other. And it should be something we feel we can't mention because actually that's more likely to make it worse and actually more likely to feel we won't get the right support. You know, we want to try and make people realise that this is it's not something really unusual, this is something we should support and talk about. So we want equal, and going back to the equity and diversity issue, students aren't equal in their needs. 
know, we have students who will have more welfare for mental issues because of all sorts of things, not just in themselves personally, but their own home lives and then the added pressures we talked about. We need to see that they need that support um, and be able to address that. So, and um, we need to recognise that need really. So that's the recognising this inequality and the fact that students need different things and we need to be able to meet that need. Um, building up emotional resilience. In the course, we also talk about how to get some well. How much you do in your life to maintain a balance. And, and emotional resilience is a very important thing we should all do. To be honest, we should all done at school. You know, we should come here with these skills. Unfortunately, it's not the curriculum. I don't suppose they're watching me. But it is something that makes you live better yourself. And a lot of people who do it come out and think, right, you know, I must manage my time better. I should actually think about how I'm actually doing things to manage my well-being and not wait until I have an issue and I'm unwell, but try and keep myself well. So that emotional resilience is an important aspect within it. I, I felt that um, I, I, I was going yes, about some October time last year with um, one of our students, a, a lad. Um, to all the points and purposes, you would think it was completely fine. In fact, really, on top of the world, he came down, sat down, and said, "Right, I need to put the emergency student services because I recognise that I've got some real, real issues that I need to talk to with somebody." Uh, and then about four months later, he came back and said, "Sorted." Thank you. <laughs> and I thought, actually, given the year beforehand, that person would not have come to say, "Actually, I recognise I've got some issues that I need to sort through." So that's good, and have we got Prince Harry and have we talking about we're talking about things? So if we get more public awareness, then again, you know, the only thing, will actually talk The only more. thing I would say is that um, all the trainers are in HLX, and whilst we do, we are able to do some training, we're doing it alongside it our is on, on, on top of our ordinary <laughs> roles. So if you think that this is something which your, your yeah. schools and things might need, it might be worth all looking at uh, uh, training some different trainers. trainers. And uh, then we can all join together and support each other. Because um, I think it's too big for just us to do um, living in our normal teaching. Because, like,